Alright guys, so the engine's in. Looks at home. We got one little boo-boo I gotta fix because it slipped on the mount. Just my luck. Anyways, um, time to mount back the inner cooler. I already finished welding up the inner cooler piping uh, from last time that I made when I tested with the engine in. So things are gonna go pretty fast and then it's gonna come to a halt because I'm kind of in the air about what ECU I'm gonna do. I have an old Haltech, I might use that. Or I might use the version 1 AEM like we talked about when I first started this. Or I might buy something new. I don't know, I'm confused. But damn, look at it, the color. If you guys think I should play in the car this color, comment below. Tell me. All right, so the inner cool is on. The piping is on. It's not permanent, but it is mocked up. Engine bay is looking extra good. But the madness I have going on here, so this is what you got to go through when you do a wire tuck. I just did one to this car over here, and I'm doing it to this car. So I'm deleting everything I don't need and extending what I need so we can put this where the uh, the airbag is in the car. So we'll delete the passenger airbag. We'll put that up there so you can pop the panel out, check fuses if you have to. And that would give us the clean, hot boy engine bay look with all functionality of everything, headlights, AC, and all the other stuff. But we're getting through it right now. This shit's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna take the car off, push it outside, take the dash out, and then pop this thing in and then loom it back up, extend what I need to, and it'll be done very soon. Psych. Hi guys, <clears throat> the next day was a long night. Uh, I was getting annoyed with the wires, so you know, I put the camera down and record much. Most of the wires ran, fuse box is over there. I simplify it as much as I can. Dash is out. Um, you can see the harness runs up now under the AC box, and it looks like spaghetti over there. Um, I would like to shorten all the wires, but I don't want to have a bunch of solder, so I kind of just, you know, looped it back and forth a little bit, and I simplified the tool, uh, the fuse box into just the main stuff I need, which is um, the fuse for the power windows. I believe this is for one of the fans, um, which I probably won't use. The two headlights, alternator, and the uh, audio AC horn fog lights, which these are the fog light wires here. Um, and obviously this spaghetti right here, this is um, gonna go to the low harness. This is speed sensor, the alternator wire, the horn wire, and the AC signal. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna loom this and put a connector so we can just plug it right in, um, in and out, you know, nice and comfortably. Uh, and that should be it. Uh, I also put this thing right here, which is a splitter to split all the power. So the, it now has, a, it's going to have a, a breaker in the trunk where you can just, um, in, instead of having the main fuse, we use these breakers like this, where you can just push this and disconnect the battery. Or if something like the start or something trips, it's going to just trip this. So that's going to be the new like main fuse so i don't need the uh factory uh main fuse here which is also 100 amp so we got rid of that that's going to simplify things and then it's obviously going to come down here boom and then it'll split to the starter and whatever else needs power in the front makes it nice and clean so we can keep this engine bay looking just as good as ross painted it um today i will try to work on fuel lines and getting that harness in there that needs a, a little bit of work and maybe some AC lines or something. I don't know. We'll see how far I get with that stuff today. Um, well, that's the update for now. Um, here at the shop, we get some work in, then we'll get back to this thing. All right, guys, making big progress over here. Um, I fixed what I need to fix on the harness. I'm currently installing it. I don't like how I run, but I gotta do my best to try to make it look as clean as possible. So maybe I'll make a bracket to hold it up here. Or maybe we can route it down here. Um, injectors and everything is already plugged in. Um, I mean, we're trucking along. Got all this stuff sorted out. Add back DTC. I got an AC compressor in there now. Man, I'm just finding all sorts of stuff on my wall over there to make this thing happen. 
but I don't know maybe in this video we could probably get it started if I keep going ham at it so I'm gonna keep going on and updating you guys as I go all right so Nick say he's, it, it has to start tonight so he's doing stuff so if it starts tonight y'all know why because Nick, Nick's helping me do stuff oh got a PRP trick on there it's 24 to 1 y'all probably hearing that huh So Nick's here doing stuff, so we probably gonna get it running. All right, I cracked my whip. Nick said we're gonna get it running. Let's do it. It still doesn't have an alternator, water pump. We're gonna put this PRP trig on here, cause it's 24 to one. We're gonna try to get this to work with our version one AEM. I like how we got yeah, we're doing a version 2020 one. trigger kit, and then we got 2005 ECU. We're doing a version one. Hey man, this is what we have laying up in the shop, man. Haltech, holla sure at me, send me an ECU, out. bro. If y'all want to hook me up, send me a AC, I'll put it on there. Hey, Progress update, guys. Uh, I'm wiring the trigger kit. I'm not that motivated, but I'm going to do it regardless. Nothing, Nick ain't been doing nothing. I hope y'all hate us. Anyways, Nick, uh, we pumped all the gas out and we figured, hey, man, might as well pull this out, see what pump is in here. Let's see what we got. This thing is from the 80s, so it might have. Uh, wow. The hell is that, Nick? Melted rubber. No, what pump is that, bro? Like, oh, I don't know. That's a tiny ass pump. It's a, it's a whole stock. No way, that, that's not even a 255. It's swelling. Dang. It's garbage. It's garbage. All right. I think I got a fancy top hat over there somewhere that we can put in. And we're going to put a two. What'd you do? Try to unplug it. And, uh, yeah. yeah. You got Nick, bro. You said we changed it all anyway, so it's good. Bruh, so anyways, we're gonna change that. We're gonna put a bigger pump. We'll put another top hat. I'm gonna finish wiring this up and then we can get it started. Hey, Nick, man. When you, uh, I guess when they see this, the, the other video already be out. Uh, it's funny, when I record videos, it doesn't have a smudge mark on the camera right here, but my camera guy seems every time he do it, like, he kisses the camera or something. <laughs> you like playing with the lens, okay? You, you like, like playing, playing with the lens? lens. Yeah, Caleb, stop playing with the lens, bro. All right, so since that was the last clip, a lot has happened. Plus, uh, I got kicked out of my own shop. And they kicked me out so you can use the lift because the comp car is having some issue, issues and we have some competition tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, next weekend. And the clutch is a million piece. So this is hot boy update, but we can update you on this car right now. Look, 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 at this, look at this thing. This is what happened at the firm. I got one lap. And then the clutch says, I don't want to play no more. So, yeah. Anyways, back to me getting kicked out of the shop. So, I'm pretty close. It's almost time for this thing to start. We need an alternator. Um, this is one of my uh, Lee creations here. So this is a 350Z alternator, one, because it's cheap. Two, you know, has more amperage than a stock one. And I have a welder, so um, this car, is actually on the first one I ever did like this like four years ago and uh, it's still working so 350z alternator I made a bracket here so it can bolt up and I just figured out I can use the PRP uh, pulley on here that kind of makes a kit so maybe we we'll make a kit get the CNC make a monster alternator swap kit only other thing you have to do is use your grinder clearance here a little bit right there a little bit boom now you got an upgraded alternator by RB just like that so I'm gonna get the alternate on um, and then we can try to get this thing started. Um, yeah, yeah, last night was hectic so I had to bail on you guys. All right, ladies and gent, the moment I've been waiting for, I don't know if you guys have been waiting for it, but it's time for the official unofficial first start. Um, so, we got a downpipe kinda. We got coils, kinda. We got a tie on the light, kinda. We got an alternator. Some serious business going on right here. Oh, come to find out, I can't use the uh, PRP pulley because it pushes too far. But if you use the RB pulley, that's the one you gotta use. So, got my old V1 plugged up over here. You know, good old purple seal of USB. This is why we couldn't start last night. Oh trunk already did the battery in the back turn the brake on 
should have power now. Turn the key on. My car is running in pieces, by the way. See this? In pieces. Look, battery light. That's a good sign. Uh, mm, connect. Boom. This process takes on long because it's a Series 1. So, like, Series 1 AEM, like, it's a brick. This thing definitely needs a Hall tech. But, like I said, we use them what we got. So, I'll be back in uh, five minutes when this finally downloads. All right, five minutes is over. Downloaded. Um, let's add voltage up here so we can see. P A T T. There we go. So we can see if the alternator is charging. We'll lock this back and hop in here and crank away at it. <laughs> Not perfect. I probably shouldn't have been messing with that. I also realized I don't have a map sensor on it yet, neither. So, hey, but that's the first start. It runs, right? Can't complain. But let me button up a little couple things. I'll be back with a better startup video. So she probably idles or something. All right, so I did some buttoning up, added a radiator, some hoses. Uh, still a lot to do, but uh, I think we got it kind of sorted out. So she's running a lot better. Uh, gotta work on cold start a little bit, but up, up, up. There we go. There we go. You hear that? She's smoothing down. The map looks like trash, but that's whatever that was on here. I still gotta make a field map and stuff, so we'll uh we'll get to all that stuff right now. Just happy to see her running. Real happy. Uh, also tired. I got a little secret mission I gotta run on. So, that being said, uh, let me turn this thing off. Yeah, with that being said, I'm about to head out of here. I'm gonna call it a night. Um, we got far in this episode. Um, skipped a lot of you guys. Sorry about that. But, you gotta make it happen, baby. You gotta get all of these cars done so you guys can see it driving. I know some of y'all enjoy me uh, just working on it, but. I like driving more than I like working on them. So, see you guys next video. Later.